So my daughter will probably tell you that I'm semi-obsessed with Chick-fil-A. I come here about twice a week for one thing and one thing in particular, their diet lemonade. It's delicious. <laughs> This is Steph Jackson, mother, wife, sister, daughter, and full-time caretaker for my mother who has frontal temporal lobe dementia. Welcome back to the channel. Please make sure that you like and subscribe down below if this seems like a topic that's interesting to you. I am in the parking lot again. It's another parking lot video. And the reason why is because this is really the only time that I can control my environment. This is the only time where I feel like the dogs are not going to come blasting in the background, growling and using their squeak toys. My daughter's not running around like a crazy beast and I don't have somebody at the front door knocking constantly. Usually it's the hospice people. So here I am out running a couple of errands and I am in the parking lot of one of my favorite stores. <laughs> tried doing this errand yesterday and I went to Sephora which scares me I'm not a Sephora girl I walked in and felt like all these beautiful people are looking at me like why are you in here woman or maybe you should be in here woman and I did like a 20 second lap you know around and walked right back out <laughs> said not today not today my friends anyway I'm here for a couple of different things number one mama needs concealer right here I feel like the weight of the world is showing underneath my eyes. And number two, I'm curious as to whether they have hair dye here. Which leads me to my dilemma of the week. So my mom was diagnosed in January and she got sick really fast and she declined really quickly. It's been rapid. She's now on hospice. Not bedridden completely, but doesn't get out of bed any more than twice a day. Once in the morning, once in the afternoon, she'll get up and eat something really small and then do a couple laps around the house and she wants to go right back into bed. So my mom, before she got sick, was the type of woman who was always well put together. I mean, she always had her makeup on and she had pretty jewelry on all the time. She'd dress herself up. She'd be going to church and she'd, you know, want to look really good. She always did her hair. Her hair was a big deal for her. I mean, she would go every six or seven weeks to get it colored and cut. When she got sick, she sort of lost interest in her appearance and the self-care, the wanting to look good kind of just disappeared for her. So my sister and I tried touching up her roots a few months ago in in her bed. I had the you know the gloves on, the rubber gloves on. We used like the L'Oreal stuff from Target, something pretty inexpensive and just did the root touch up. And my mom was absolutely miserable the whole time. The whole time asking me, "Are you guys done yet? <laughs> when are you going to be finished? When can I lay down? When are you going to be done?" And it was not enjoyable for anyone. Um so we've kind of let it go that's the truth I, I've kind of let it go but it's to the point the other day I took a picture of her to send to my sister and the picture that I took just gosh she looked I hate to say it but she looked so old to me and I think a lot of it is the roots and a lot of it is the grays that are coming out and I wonder to myself does she in the Brit in her brain does she know what she looks like does she care is it even a thought that comes across her mind when I have her go into the bathroom to brush her hair and brush her teeth and do the morning routine when I tell her to brush her hair she doesn't even really watch herself in the mirror she just kind of brushes it through and does about two or three strokes and wants to be finished with it I never see her really checking herself out in the mirror or kind of looking and going like this I never see her doing that but I guess my dilemma is how much do I push on doing something like dyeing her hair? Or do I just let it go? Just curious as to what other people out there, what they think and how you've handled the self-care aspect when you are a caretaker for someone with dementia. I'll also be including some resources about self-care in the links down below. Make sure you like and subscribe and give me some comments below if that's what keeps this channel going. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. <laughs>
I made it. <laughs> and I almost stole this. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs>